he that findeth the wife find a good thing, right? So the woman shouldn't be looking for a, a husband or a boyfriend or anything. Let that happen naturally. When that opportunity does arise, What's going on, Black Bookers, and welcome to another episode of Book Black TV. I'm your host, Jeremy Kraft, and today I'm here with Tori and Terry of I Forever Will Christian Marriage Counseling. How are you guys doing today? Good. Thank you. I know that was my fault. Yeah, I was about to say. All those cell phones. He really did. It's like Book Black, 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 Black. Yeah. <laughs> she says seashells by the seashells. So welcome. Thank you. Hey. Welcome. Thank so, you. as you guys know, we always play a quick game of Black Family Feud before we get started. Yeah. So we're going to have a sudden death. Um, we're going to ask one question. You have to get the number one answer correct in order to win. If not, then I have to keep you guys out. Uh, <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. So, so this is something that like, we have to hold. And we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. no, really? Okay, so you're my lifeline. Okay. okay. <laughs> so we asked 100 black bookers. Name something that you do when the TV remote goes out. Look for batteries. Is that, is that I mean, I'm going to change the channel, but I'm going to look for batteries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she gave two answers. I didn't know what. What was your answer going to be? I'm I'll give you the chance. That's her. Go change the channel. <laughs> change the channel. No, it was hit the remote. Oh, um, hit the remote. Hit the okay, remote. I do hit the remote. Yeah, I know it's not actually, actually, actually what I do. Yeah, is yeah. I take the batteries and out the and then bring it back in. That's all. That was like the number two. I did good. I'm gonna let y'all make it. Alright, ding 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 ding. Yes, She ain't confirming that she just buy it. Damn, we phone the bus. Okay, I'm sorry, okay, so we're gonna have a I know, right? Like total marriage. It's too late now. She okay. was, it's too late now. That was like one question. You can see the energy in this this lovely couple. So uh tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, a lot. Uh, I don't know where you want to start, but uh we'll just start from where we are. Um, happy married couple, six kids, um, four boys, two girls, or right. should I say, no, four, four girls. men? I'm, I'm sorry, four women and two men. Yes, yes. So I, 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 I would say like that since they all grown folks. Grown that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> and we have three grandchildren with two on the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we are one busy here, family. One busy family, and the two of us. We're marriage counselors that just happen to be radio and television personalities. Got you. Yeah. Got you. So how long have you guys been doing marriage counseling? Well, five years now. Yeah, five, five years. Six years. Yeah. So what like what inspired you to do that? Um, we had a before we even got married, when we were dating, we were talking about helping other couples because we both came out of terrible marriages and all. And um, having seen what not to do. Mm -hmm. You know, we wanted to get it right. Right. And getting it right starts with having a foundation of your marriage and God. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I'm a huge component of that. I believe that couples should actually do marriage counseling before they get married. Yeah, mm -hmm. you really should. Yeah. It, you know, it's, it's a saving grace because so much emphasis is put on a wedding. Mm -hmm. So much emphasis is put on the butterflies you know, uh, prior to, but you never really get a chance to peek into All the, the what ifs. Right. And, you know, I mean, yeah. the what ifs and the, you know, the unknowns. And so by lacing yourself with the word of God and really, you know, setting your foundation, then you start to think out of the box. Right. You start to see things completely different about how you would approach them than you did when you were dating, because it's not the same. And just putting God first, you know, it gives you the awareness and the knowledge to know that this is way bigger than my feelings in a moment, right. you know, um, or the you know the situation or circumstances. To this shall pass, mm -hmm. and so it's really putting God first and trusting Him with it, and um, leaning on you know leaning on that instead of on my understanding. Yeah, and what we often experience is that after the honeymoon, get back if you if you've gone on a destination wedding and all that. When you get back home, you wake up the next day because you're like, we's married now. <laughs> but then it's like, what do we do? Mm -hmm. right. What's different? So what, now what, what, what has changed? So, so now, now what? Yeah. And then, um, you know, one of the biggest issues that we see with 
newlywed couples that have only been married a few months or sometimes we have even after a few weeks uh, that are having issues is that they may have been together for years or months or whatever but they found out that they really didn't know each other right. the, the, the questions weren't asked in the beginning uh, you know they were just dating they were just going about doing whatever and of course life gets in the way of a lot of things and then once you get married you find especially if you haven't been living together you find mm -hmm. out you pick these drawers up off the floor, you know, <laughs> do you have to leave your stuff all over? You know, just stuff like that. Of course, sorry. Now, now, you said something that just got my attention. You said if you wasn't living together prior to. Mm -hmm. Now, I know a lot of times people have this uh, negative uh, perception of people who live together before they get married. What is your take on that? Do you feel like couples should live together before they get married? I, you know, my take has changed mm -hmm. over the years only because of course, when you first get saved, you like, want to do everything by the book, by the book, by the book. Right. But then when you think about God and how God is, I mean, you know, I think Joseph and Mary were living together. They weren't married. They were living together as far as even traveling before Jesus was born. Right. And there was a question if they were going to get married. And so even with that being said, um, I look at it in the sense that when you are living for Christ, and really seeking what God wants for you and wanting and going to him with it. I think that that's all that matters because living together is one thing. Mm -hmm. Consummating is right. another thing. You could be living together. One could be in one room, one could be in another. So, I mean, it's like, don't take it out of context. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's the same thing I'm saying about with Joseph and Mary. Right. Remember, Jesus was born in a manger, supposedly. We mm -hmm. don't know that even when they were like basically like camping as they're trying to find this manger, if he, you know, she slept on the donkey, he slept under a tree. And I'm saying that to say that I don't think that we need to get so caught up into that because God is not caught up into that. God is caught up into where your heart lies because that's where he judges us. Now, what so we do believe is, is that you shouldn't be playing house no. before you're married. And not, that's what not a lot that of people, way. Not well, that's that what way. a lot of people do. They, they play house. And that's why... If a guy is already living with a woman and she wants to get married and he's like, everything's cool now, what's going on, you know? Yeah. So it takes the allure and the excitement out of being married because, you know, the whole person being married, you know, I mean, you want to experience new things, you want to do new things with your spouse and, and all, and travel this path that you haven't traveled before. And then all of a sudden, I mean, what's new? You've already been together, you know, everything's still the same. You know, you still have one drawer and she got eight. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and so nothing's changed. But when you're, um, when you're getting to know each other, part of getting to know each other is not seeing each other on a daily basis like that. You have to be able to, I mean, be missing for a couple of days so you can come back and have something to talk about. Right. Have, you know, have some excitement, bring some excitement to your relationship. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but we had a long distance relationship before. I was on, I was in Maryland and she was in California. So how did I, that work? It worked and it worked really fast because we were married in a month. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah because we knew what we wanted, and that and that's did you all know each other. Well, we were knowing each other. Okay. Yeah. yeah but FaceTime and uh, I mean, we dated. Phone. We we yeah. saw each other. We dated. Um, we would talk on the phone every day, and then you know there were trips, and then we got married. But I mean, it was knowing. But the, that's the, that's the thing too. I mean, back to your question about living together, because I really want to make this clear as far as the stance and the position of it's not Tori and Terry making that decision. That is of the Lord, and that's between you and your mate and God. And so I think you taking it to Him mm -hmm. and Him knowing your intentions and your vision. You must have a vision. Yes, because there's no vision that people care. And so that was difference. the vision with us when we met. The reason it went so quick is because. Like he said, we had come to marriages that failed. You know, they weren't always bad, obviously. But, um, we, they, you know, we came together. And after experiencing that, we knew what we wanted. And we knew what we wanted as far as being rooted in Christ. And so with that being said, we knew what path we wanted to take. And I always tell them, I got daughters. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I tell them the men too, the young men too, our sons. Hey, check your map. Where's your mate going? Are you guys going in the same direction? Are right. you headed in the same place? Do you want to go in the same place? And so wherever you are, make sure you're checking your map. And so our maps aligned. And so with that, we were of Christ. We wanted it of it. And when you were asking us how we got into this, we started out with marriage ministry. That was our only goal. 
We wanted to build up a marriage ministry. Church. We were so excited. Like, let's just do yeah, that. Yeah, no idea. Like, we will be we where we are. No now. idea. This is going to take the place. And, and, and every day we wake up, it's exciting because you know, we, we don't know next. the next phone call. We don't know the next it's interview. Right. The next whatever. Everything is just happening. It's happening fast, but it's not happening fast mm -hmm. because we're not allowing. We're allowing God to. Uh, you know, to happen God's timing instead of our timing. Whereas if we were probably younger, we'd be like, well, yeah, let, let, let's try to get on Oprah Network. Let's try to get on Tyler Perry's Network. You know, now we're, you know, we're just doing everything that we have to do intentionally. Just, just living intentionally. And, and, and letting God lead the way for us. And right. it's working. So, yeah. So when you're, when you're focused to a higher calling, mm -hmm. and that's why I say, mm -hmm have a vision because I think that if you're taking it to him and the reason that you're being to, you're together in the first place is because you have a purpose mm -hmm. that's a calling on your life you can't go wrong God's got you so at what point do couples establish that vision I think early on I mean those are the questions you know yeah. back when we were I mean, we're, we're older so I mean when we were you know we were growing up it's what's your sign and different questions people Stop ask you first start dating no <laughs> <laughs> so, no, for real but for real honestly speaking I mean, I think it's important to ask certain questions at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Again, I mean, everybody is intentional right now. So if what nothing are, else, what the are, pandemic taught us What that. are some critical questions that a female should ask a man, and then also a man should ask a female um, I, in, in that dating phase? I'll, 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 I'll let you go ahead as a man first. So for women to men, first of all, he that find it, the wife find a good thing, right? So the woman shouldn't be looking for or a husband or boyfriend or anything, let that happen naturally. When that opportunity does arise, the woman should be looking for, and I know we're biblical, you know, we're ministers, but we, we, we do this in such a way where we're not Bible thumping you or anything like that, but she should look for the fruits of the Spirit of God in that, in that guy, right? And there's a, you know, you just, you know, you go into the Bible, you can read what those yeah, fruits research are. research it. Research it. But anyway, um, once that happens, and then and, and then there's a connection there because you just don't want to get anybody that look good or whatever. Everything glitter ain't go. Yeah. So you just don't want to get somebody that's out there. You know, you think that's fine or whatever. What do they have going for them? Yeah. Well, wait a minute. What you trying to no, say? <laughs> <fine. laughs> anyway, um, no, the, the the thing is, is that um, you know when when you're intentional like that. Mm -hmm. Then you're purposeful in seeking, you know, what what you're looking for, and then that other person is intentional as well because oh, okay, she's serious, you know, and then he got to make sure he come with his A game, right. not his representative, but his A game, right? right. Yeah, that and and that that's going to you know be the focal point of their relationship, and then they're checking the fruits of the spirit of each other, so you know they have Christ within them. Christ has to be the foundation. And I know a lot of young people don't believe in God or whatever now because of whatever reasons, but whenever something happens, oh Lord, have right. Right. <laughs> that's true. Believe in at some point. So take it from us. I mean, we, we've counseled hundreds of people and literally the people that we counsel that have a foundation or that we place a foundation of God there, their marriages are thriving, their marriages are working. That's awesome. And you guys are nationwide as well, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Correct. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So you guys provide counseling all over the nation. Yeah. And, and yes, in multiple so. ways. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so yes. right now, you know, of course, via COVID, we have to do it via Zoom. But also through our radio and television show, mm -hmm. we're able to reach people there as well. Okay. Can yeah. you talk a little bit about your radio and television show? Yes. Yeah. So both of those shows are premised off of um, us reaching out to people, mm -hmm. right? Spreading the message of, of, of things. And for each show, we receive letters from the public with an issue, marital issue, that they want us to be able to articulate it or explain it to them mm -hmm. uh, you know, through this show. And the good thing is, is that during the show where we're doing it, what, every message or every uh, letter that's out there, everybody has, uh, an issue with that, you know, that, 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 that it, it could be, you know, oh, well, I, I don't, you know, this other does pertain to me, you know, but the next one probably does. Mm -hmm. So for every, and doing the map on it, for every one letter that we receive, a thousand people are having that issue. Yeah. So it's like, oh my God, you know, they, they got the same thing, and, right. and, or we'll get messages, hey, you guys helped us, or we love the ones to say, 
you guys are doing, you know, we love what you're doing. I mean, people just out of the blue, you know, you're helping save marriages, you're helping save families. And at the end of the day, I think that's what it's all about with us and God is we're help building kingdom families for him. And the people that, that come back to us and say that or give us referrals, I mean, it, it's what we're what we're doing this for. Yeah. And, and we do both via awesome. TV. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's awesome. And where can the people find you guys? Instagram, social media, okay. website. All right. So all we're doing some rebranding right now, but for right now, our website is iforeverwill.com. That's iforeverwill.com. If you want to see our television show, we're on A Star TV. However, you can uh, reach us through Roku, Amazon, Firefox, Apple TV, Apple iOS, uh, Android. There. For each one of those, you of course, if you're familiar with it, you have to um, pull down the app no, no, um, for each of those things. And on um, Friday nights at 9 p.m. is our show, Love in Black, with Tori and Terry. And, um, <laughs> you know, great show. We have celebrity couples on there or celebrities on there. And, um, you know, we talk to them, talking about love, relationships, marriage, and everything. And then they actually help us go into the letters as well. So we're getting, you know, perspective from all different angles. And then on Tuesday nights is Marriage Talk Tuesdays, which we're about to change over to, we're gonna make everything love and black. But uh, for right now, it's still Marriage Talk Tuesdays, Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. We're on gospelradionation.com, but we do a simulcast on Facebook. So on Facebook, you can go to our I Forever Will Christian Marriage Counseling page, and you can watch shows from the past year or so. And also for the television show, uh, we also put those on our Facebook page, which is Love in Black with Tori and Terry. You can find it all there under I Forever Will, as well as you can reach us at IFWCMC, the number one on Instagram. IFWCMC, number one on Instagram. We're, in, we're rebranding. Everything's going to be Love in Black. It yeah, just we're rebranding. Yeah, awesome. and, and, you know, I want to make sure that we let the people know what Love in Black means, because people think that you have to be black to watch Love and Black. Love and Black <laughs> actually means putting your love in the positive, just like you would your finances. And that means having your money in your black. Yeah. You want your love in the black. So you don't have to be black. People are very serious up. about their money. They need to be just as serious about their love. Absolutely. Well, thank you all for coming on our show. Um, thank this you for has been us. another episode of Book Black TV. You've heard where to find them. Make sure you check out their show as well. They do an awesome job. So make sure you check them out, follow them on all social media platforms, visit them, engage, interact, and just show love. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you God guys. You guys. Right. <laughs> awesome. Y'all are so awesome. I love that. Thank you.